This is the Outin Nano, an electric portable espresso maker. But is it any good or just a gimmick? Stick around and we'll find out. Okay, so let's begin by unboxing this beautiful package. As you can see, it comes with a nice uh, premium looking cardboard box, some FAQs, user guide, the portable espresso maker, cup, followed by the Nespresso original coffee pods adapter, small spoon which you can use to fill the coffee basket, type C cable, kind of like the porta filter and you have the coffee basket now let's take a closer look at the unit itself so i decided to go for this color called forest green but it does come in four other colors the build quality on the outing is really nice it's made up of this hard kind of plastic material the same that you have on keyboards and stuff it does look pretty tough and scratch resistant Taking the top off reveals your water reservoir where you can either put hot or cold water. Here you can see your main power button which you're going to use to operate the machine as well as four LED light which shows you the battery charge level and also shows you the progress whenever you're boiling water. And finally at the back you have your type C port which you can use to charge the machine. Now let's go over some of the nice features that the Nano has. So the Nano weighs in about 700 grams and can easily fit into any backpack or an office backpack. And for those rainy days it comes with an IPX4 water resistant rating which means it can withstand water splashes from any directions. So it has a pump which brews the coffee at 20 bars. Now more bars definitely don't mean like better coffee but it does produce some nice crema. Nano supports both ground coffee as well as Nespresso original coffee pods. Now it comes with two baskets. On one of the basket you can put your ground coffee and another is like a Nespresso uh, coffee pods adapter. So you basically load one pod in and then uh, make your espresso that way. It's powered by a 7500 milliamp battery which can be recharged using Type-C but just keep in mind the charger needs to be above 10 watt for the Nano to start charging. Now on a full charge Outin claims that the Nano can make about 5 brews of coffee or 5 espressos if you use cold water. The way it works is you put in some either hot water or cold water over here, close this off you press the power button and hold until you hear a beep and then once it reaches the correct temperature it's mostly boiling water it then pushes it through and then you get your espresso from here pretty simple right enough talk let's go make some coffee Alright guys and here we are inside our trusty camperman. Now if you're new over here you might not know but I'm kind of doing like camperman videos, travel, uh, van life vlogs and stuff. So if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe that'll mean a lot. You're gonna make two coffees in this. The first one is a ground coffee which I got from Rave and a Costa coffee pod. I'm gonna add some cold water as recommended by the Outin. I'm gonna add 50 ml of water there's markers inside the water reservoir here, so you don't have to guess how much is 50 ml close the lid we're gonna start by making the ground coffee right so once everything is loaded inside everything is stamped we're gonna put it in the porta filter and then screw this over so now that's screwed in what we're gonna do is press this button and hold until you hear a beep. Okay, and let's see how long it takes to boil the water as well. Time to wait now. Also, when it's ready, it releases the espresso automatically. So make sure you are close to the machine. <laughs>
Here goes nothing. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's a really good espresso to be honest. What I like about it is it was very balanced. It was it was not very bitter, not very sour. It was very good for a machine this size. Almost like as good or even better than the machine that I have at home, which is a DeLonghi Dedica. Wow, really impressed by this one. So yeah, and the, the cover of the reservoir is also a stand for the machine. That's very nice, isn't it? Okay, let's go for the Costa coffee pod now. Okay, so I'll just take the coffee pod adapter. It's basically got like this kind of like needles which punch at the bottom. And then we put it in the, the porta filter. Screw it in place. More expectation from the Nespresso coffee pots because you know they measure it and everything and it's meant for for a Nespresso machine and this is kind of like an Nespresso machine. There you go. It smelled really nice when it just popped after the explosion. The smell was so nice. Anyway, taste test. Again, it's really nice, man. Not sour, not bitter. Amazing. I really like it. I think it's definitely better than my DeLonghi Dedica. And if you put like a, a splash of milk in this, it's gonna taste like amazing. By the way guys, I had got some espresso coffee pods uh, from by Starbucks. So I got an insane idea, right? Just because I like the two coffees so much, I actually want to come back to Starbucks coffee. So let's just hop on the bike and go to Starbucks. This is where the fate of the Nano will be. Decided. Uh, can I have one double espresso? Thank you. We have the Starbucks coffee versus the Alti Nano coffee. Now, let me try the Starbucks first. Yes, see how it is. Very bitter, but yeah, just the, the Starbucks espresso, I guess. Not a lot bitter than I like. The out in espresso, yes. So this one's a bit sour. If you take the Costa Coffee one and compare it to this one, the Costa Coffee definitely wins over this. So, so far, no disappointment, all good, yes. Very nice. Now, <laughs> uh, let me give you my final conclusions. Well, is this the right product for you? Well, I think it's an amazing product for someone who wants to have the convenience of having good coffee at work when they go camping and stuff without having to deal with, you know, cleaning a lot of things without having to deal with, uh, you know, getting boiled water or anything like that. It's just very, very convenient. If you are someone who wants to have the convenience of having some good coffee. If you want something portable, maybe like your job involves like traveling around, you can just make coffee while you're driving around or something like that. If you're someone who wants, who goes camping a lot and that travels a lot, I think this is an amazing option for you. Now, if you do work in an office environment, I did notice that the, the Nano can be a bit loud when the espresso comes out and you can get a few stairs well that's exactly what happened with me this is jesus from the future so i was editing this video and Alton happened to reach out to ask me if i want to collab with them so i said why not and they happened to give me a discount code 
So here it is, Jesus 10. If you use this one, then you're gonna get 10% off. If you do happen to use that discount code, I will make a small commission on that. Since I'm a very, very small channel, this will be the best way of supporting me. Thank you so much. Now back to the video. And now to answer the main question, is it any good or just a gimmick? Well, I'm glad to say it's not a gimmick. It does make good coffee and it is very convenient. So yes, it is worth it <laughs> and it is good. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Bye.